In this video, I'm going to talk about the sensitivity analysis with respect to the change of a column of a non-basic variable. So let's see how it works. Again, the step is actually the same. We need to have the optimal table first and then use the formula to see how the change affects the table. Especially we check if um, each variable in row zero still has a non-negative coefficient and then each constraint still has a non-negative right hand side. If that is the case, then our current basis remains optimal. So here's the fourth change, changing the column of a non-basic variable. We are using the example of Dakota problem. Here we are going to change the entire column of x2, which is originally looks like that, to becomes like this. So x2 now changes, um, the price becomes $43 up to just $30, and then it uses five units of lumber, two finishing hours, and two carpentry hours. So the column changes from 36 to 1.5 to becomes 43, 5, 2, and 2. If we look at the formula, it means that we make a change in CJ, especially uh, for J equals 2. So we change C2, and then we also change A2. However, because uh, x2 is not a basic variable, it means that CBV does not change, okay, because x2 is not a basic variable. So the change in C2A2 affects row 0 and the constraint of x2. So um, the row 0 and the constraint part, but only for the variable x2. The current basis remains optimal if C2 hat is still greater than or equals to zero after this change. So now let's check the new value of C2 hat. So C2 hat equals CBVB inverse A2 minus C2. CBVB inverse does not change. A2 changes to becomes 5 to 2. So we use the new value for A2, and then for C2, we also use the new value of 43, and the result is um, minus 3. And then we also compute the new column for uh, X2 using the formula of B inverse AJ. B inverse does not change, um, but then A2, we use the new column, 5 to 2, to become the new A2, and then we get the new column for X2 is minus 7, minus 4, and 2. Then we append this result to our old optimal table. So here it becomes minus 3, and then the constraint part becomes minus 7, minus 4, and plus 2. Everything else is exactly the same with the old optimal table that we obtained from the original problem. Now, up to this step, we may just perform simplex algorithm as usual. For the maximization case, we pick the variable with the most negative coefficient, perform ratio tests, and always pick the smallest. This is the pivot, perform error or elementary row operations such that at this position, the coefficient becomes 1, and all other values in that column becomes 0. Now, we have the new optimal table with respect to the new price of x2 and the new column of x2. So now x2 is quite attractive to be produced and x1 is no longer produced because um, it is less attractive than producing x2. Okay, so that's how we are going to handle uh, the change in the entire column of a non-basic variable. So um, see you on the next one when we are going to talk about the fifth change. Thank you.